News. I'm Zhu Fang. General Secretary Xi Jinping of the Communist Party of China Central Committee says that China stands ready to contribute solutions to the common challenges facing the world. The CPC is willing to contribute more Chinese solutions and Chinese strength to poverty eradication calls worldwide. It will spare no effort to support international cooperation against COVID-19 and enhance the accessibility and affordability of vaccines in developing countries. China will work very hard to deliver its. Promise of carbon peak and carbon neutrality, and contribute more to global fight against climate change. The Chinese president made the remarks while delivering a keynote speech at the CPC and World Political Parties Summit in Beijing via video link. President Xi called on political parties around the world to embrace the idea of a global community with a shared future for all. The Chinese leader also warned against the tendency to politicize the COVID-19 pandemic or attach a geographical label to the virus. Chinese President Xi Jinping has sent a message of condolence to Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte following the crash of a military plane in the Southeast Asian country. In the message sent on behalf of the Chinese government and people, President Xi expressed regret over the loss of life and extended his sympathies to those left injured and bereaved following the disaster. Egypt has produced one million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine developed by China's Sinovac. Adlao Marouki reports. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli announced a 50% completion of the nation's first two million doses of the Chinese Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine. The magnitude of demand on the COVID-19 vaccines is immense. That made some of the companies we've contracted to suppliers of the vaccines to be behind schedule. From day one, we eyed acquiring the ability of manufacturing the vaccine so that we won't be under any mercy of the global market. The government vaccination arm Vaxera is currently producing the COVID-19 jab in Cairo. Its production line has the capacity of producing 300,000 doses daily. Egypt is currently in negotiations with the Chinese pharmaceutical company Sinovac Biotech to supply double the contracted volume of the raw biomaterial needed for manufacturing. Once completed, the new Vaxera complex will be able to add three million doses to Egypt's daily capacity to produce all kinds of vaccines. The agreement with China includes full transfer of technology for producing COVID-19 vaccines that will include producing the raw biomaterial domestically in Egypt. Three local COVID-19 cases were reported in Raili, southwest China's Yunnan province, on Monday. All the cases are Myanmar nationals. They were found during an all-inclusive nucleic acid testing campaign in Raili, which lies along China's border with Myanmar. The city reported dozens of locally transmitted COVID-19 cases during the previous outbreak that began in late March. The resurgence subsided in April amid tightened anti-epidemic measures. And several citywide COVID-19 testing campaigns. At least 150 people were killed in gun violence in more than 400 incidents across the United States during the 4th of July weekend. The Gun Violence Archive compiled a list of shootings and victims in a 72-hour period from July 2nd through July 4th. In New York City alone, there were 21 shooting incidents during the period. The city has seen a 40% increase in gun violence so far this year, compared with the same period last. Chair. The 11th edition of the Beijing International Film Festival will be held from August 14th to 21st. Renowned Chinese actress Gong Li will chair this year's jury, which will confer the Tiantan Awards. The Beijing International Film Festival began in 2011. It aims to boost exchanges among industry players across the globe. The festival has been attracting increasing international attention because of China's flourishing film market. And that's the news. I'm Zhu Fang.